what's up virgo sun and scorpio moon tribe welcome to your share on your sun and moon i'm super excited for this one one of my favorite combinations so before i do get started let me introduce myself if you're new here i'm rhea i'm a mystic astrologer past life hypnotherapist quantum energy healer reiki practitioner and you can learn more about me and my services on my website reacorts.com so before we do get started with this sun and moon combination i do want to mention that i have three videos one on what the sun means in astrology another video on what the moon means in astrology and a third video on the sun versus the moon what's the difference and what's more important so if you haven't checked those videos out they're out on real astrology my main channel i'll link them down below pause this video go check them out so that you get a greater understanding of what the sun and moon mean in astrology and then come back and check out this video okay so let's get started now. So the sun in Virgo and the moon in Scorpio. Now, the sun in our chart is a very dominant energy in our chart because as above, so below it, just like the sun in our solar system, it's at the center of our solar system. Everything revolves around the sun and that's exactly what the sun in your chart does. Like it is a centerpiece in your chart and everything does come back to the sun and the sun is this young masculine energy it's the solar plexus chakra it's this fire it's where we shine it's what also ignites the fire within us too what our life revolves around where we shine what brings the best out of us it is our life force energy the sun so when you have the sun in virgo an earth sign, a mutable earth sign. Your life revolves around service to others. This is a very giving energy in its higher octave. It's a very humble energy, a very down to earth energy, of course, because it's an earth sign. A very giving, devoted energy. That's why Virgos just make the best, like, in their higher, higher octave anyways, they make the best partners because they're just devoted. There's just this loyalty, this devotion, this humbleness. It's, they just have such a gentle, calm aura as well. And so grounded. And where you shine is where you are giving to others, where you are helping others. You like to put your energy to good use. You like to be practical you like to be efficient and of service to the world of service to others that's why everyone always gives you a call first when they need something because they know they can rely on you they know you're going to pick up the phone unless you really don't care about that <laughs> you don't care you are not going to answer their phone but usually the people you care about like you're always there for them you got their back and this is where you shine you shine when you are using your energy because you are an earth sign and earth signs are practical they're efficient they like to use their energy efficiently and effectively they like to use their energy in this earthly realm virgo is also ruled by planet mercury so you're very analytical very observant you like to research you're very detail oriented And with the Scorpio moon, I mean, you spot everything in a split of a second, like nothing goes unnoticed because you got that Virgo energy where you're very analytical. You can spot everything. You want to get to the bottom of things too. You like to research. You like to learn new things as well. You like to process information, but then that Scorpio moon, that sixth sense that comes with the Scorpio moon, that detective that comes with the Scorpio moon, the intuition that comes with the Scorpio moon, I mean, yeah, nobody can run game on you. You can get to the bottom of anything because that Mercury influence and then you got that Pluto influence, you are going to get to the psychology behind everything. You're going to get to the bottom. And that's quite a powerful gift. You know, a lot of people can't really dive really down to the darkness and to the trenches and get information and learn about what's really going on in the world. So just learn about truth in general. But you have that powerful ability 
to really dive deep and get to the bottom of things. Just a natural detective. It also gives you the ability to really do a lot of inner work or shadow work, whatever you want to call it. Because with the Virgo energy, so one thing you got to be mindful of is, as you know, being critical, whether that's being critical of others or yourself. And I feel like Virgos give their self a real hard time. Although others perhaps may not see it, but internally within there's a lot going on there's a lot you're processing mentally processing emotionally processing and again with that scorpio moon you know you perhaps have a very strong guard up so nobody really gets to see that side to you they see you as this virgo who's always down to help others who's always you know just being practical and they see this very calm exterior and you are very calm. You have a very healing aura. I love being the presence of Virgos. Their energy is just, just so healing. Although the inner world can be completely the opposite, but you naturally make people feel better too. And, and you make them feel grounded because you have this beautiful earth energy to you. But the inner world can be challenging at times if you're not taking care of your emotions and, and your mental health, because as we know, the Scorpio moon feels to such a degree, there's an emotional intensity, right? That comes with this moon. And if you don't balance your emotions out, you can get to a very dark place, right? With your emotions, you can get into a rabbit hole. But then also with a Virgo sun, you can really hold yourself to a very high standard, a very um, like you're very tough on yourself. You're always criticizing yourself or wanting to do things perfectly because there's this perfectionist within you, right? You have this, like, you just, you can be sometimes a little OCD and you want everything to be perfect. And that can be challenging if you're not giving yourself a break, if you're not giving yourself the credit you deserve. if you're being too tough on yourself, be mindful of that. Others can perceive you as being critical or, or being a perfectionist or what have you, but they don't know what's going in, inside, like in your inner world. Because there's a lot going on. Now, this can be a very beautiful combination because if you learn how to work with the sun and the moon, then you can balance yourself out. You know, when those emotions get too deep, you got to start to embody and channel the earth energy, the Virgo energy, and start to ground yourself, right? And that healing energy that radiates out of you and your aura and is healing for others, use that energy for yourself too. It's like the sun, it radiates this beautiful light, this heat, this warmth. And when you have the sun in Virgo, you are radiating this calm, soothing, healing energy. That's why perhaps you're fond of animals or animals um, like you, depending on where the sun is anyways, because of this earth energy you're just radiating you're one with the earth so when you do go into that scorpio moon mode of you know just too much intensity and, and too much depth and just feeling too much um also you can be uh i mean just scorpio moons in general we're very absorbent when it comes to energies right but also with a virgo sun you can be very absorbent to energy because the sun is a solar plexus chakra. And with Virgos, you've got to be mindful of your health. Um, you know, a lot of Virgos, well, depending on where Virgo is in your chart, can have a lot of um, digestive issues. So it's very important to take care of like, your health and your lifestyle. And you have a very simplistic 
a humble lifestyle as well. You know, the Virgo part of you doesn't ask for much. It's just very humble and very down to earth. And that's why I love this, this energy so much. And the higher octave, the higher expression of this energy. But you got to be mindful of what you consume. And if you do get a lot of digestive issues as well, or you feel like you have a lot of allergies, yes, it's what we consume, what we eat, but it can also be the emotions we have um, like piled up within us or what we've absorbed. And that's why you got to have a very like structured um, self-care routine, ritual for yourself so that mentally emotionally physically you're just at your best so with the virgo energy the earth energy it's like being in nature it's grounding healing with nature to balance out that scorpio moon and also using water as well because remember scorpio is a water sign so water is healing drinking a lot of water also being around water, bathing in water, it's important to have those rituals and routines for yourself so that you take care of your um, mental, emotional, physical body. That's very important for you. And you like routine. Virgos are very organized and they like routine. And that's what makes you feel good. That's where you shine, right? That's why people can rely on you because you know where you wanna go, uh, you know what you wanna do. However, speaking of, that sometimes because it's a mutable energy it can change its mind very quickly as well also because it is ruled by mercury so just be mindful of that but then that scorpio moon gives you that i know what i want and i know what i don't want so again you know use both the sun and the moon to balance you out when you feel like one is taking over the other it's all about the balance. That's why the Libra scales are in between the sign Virgo and Scorpio. And that's why I see this energy as such a beautiful, uh, harmonious energy of balance. If you know how to work with it mindfully, and when you embody the higher octave of this energy. Also, uh, with the Virgo energy and the Scorpio moon, going back to you know being like a psychic magnet and picking up on your environments and the energies around you and your own emotions there can be a lot of uh nervousness as well it goes back to that digestive um having digestive issues or uh stomach issues now of course you know i'm not a doctor so if you got any issues go see a medical practitioner professional but from my astrological observations is what i see is that People who absorb a lot, it just it piles up in the solar plexus chakra because that is the intuition, is the center of our body. So you can feel very nervous. You can have a lot of, um, like you can feel anxious as well, a lot of anxieties as well. And those anxieties go back to, yes, what's the, the mental clutter or what we're thinking, our thoughts, but also our emotional body. And when you have the moon in Scorpio, it's so strong. So again, it's important to purge. I just, the image that I get when I tune into this energy is just being in nature, like literally just sitting in the grass, sitting on the ground and letting the earth just remo like remove the negative energy or the stuck energy out of you. That's just a visual that I see. So if you can meditate in nature, be around trees. Trees are so healing. People will just underestimate the power of trees. Like there's such a deep spiritual meaning to trees. And also the Scorpio moon energy is also a healing energy, a very powerful healing energy in its highest expression and its higher octave. It's spiritually, energetically, psychologically very healing. So when you've got the Virgo sun and Scorpio moon, this is a very beautiful healing energy. If you combine two, if you combine both of them two together, a beautiful healing um, energy. Once you start to master your own emotions, your own thoughts, that's when you can assist others. It starts from you first, right? And in relationships, there's just such a devotion 
I, I think I mentioned this earlier in this episode, there's such a devotion and, and loyalty. Yeah. Again, speaking of the higher expression, the higher octave, because the Scorpio moon is just so committed and loyal. Again, I'm going to keep stressing this in its highest expression, right? Because I always get comments like, oh, well, I knew a Scorpio moon and da da da, and they weren't loyal to, like, of course, because there's duality, duality exists. There's a, high, there's a higher expression and there's a lower expression. There's a higher octave and then there's a lower octave. We have to understand duality, right? But in its highest octave, the Scorpio moon is just so committed, so loyal. Death cannot do us apart. In fact, sometimes they're so committed, they don't even know when it's time to leave a toxic relationship because it's like, okay, I committed to this. And even if this is going bad right now, like I gotta get through it. We're gonna get through it, even when it's time to leave. And that's why you gotta be mindful when it comes to commitment and loyalty. Like if something is not aligning with your soul anymore or bringing the best out of you, it's time to go, right? No matter how, how strong you are, when it comes to how strong headed, when it comes to loyalty and, and devotion and commitment. And there's just such a deep mystical side to you as well. So connected with the earth and nature, like this beautiful relationship that you have. And what something that I see too right now is those that have um, a very high frequency, like your energy is actually very healing for the earth and just your energy is just, when it radiates, it's also just healing just the earth collectively. That's just something that I've just seen right now. So it's so important for you to take care of your mind, body, soul, spirit. And also boundaries. Boundaries are also very important because the Virgo sun is so giving and that's where it shines and that's what it enjoys you enjoy. But you got to be careful and mindful that, you know, you don't give too much of yourself to others where you are left drained. You have to have strong boundaries because this is a mutable energy and also a, a very giving energy. So it's important to have strong boundaries. And although you enjoy giving, you enjoy being practical and, and doing stuff, it's important to make sure you're not overworking yourself. You're not overusing your energy. And you're not being too harsh on yourself either. And you're giving yourself the credit you deserve. So watch out for that. But overall, this is just such a beautiful energy. Um, and it's a higher octave, high, higher expression, just a beautiful healing energy. And when you have these two placements, yeah, a, a natural born healer. So I hope you enjoy this short little video on your sun and moon. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have the sun in Virgo and the moon in Scorpio. Share your thoughts with me. Let me know what do you love about this combination. Share your thoughts down below. You can also connect to me on Instagram. My username is at Rio Courts and my website for sessions is reacourts.com. If you're new here, make sure you do subscribe, tap on the notification bell, and I'll see you in another Scorpio moon share. Lots of love.